What is up, guys? We're going to be going over how to get all the fossil Pokemon and Pokemon Sword and Shield. So, let's get into it. So, one thing to keep in mind is if you're playing Sword, you'll mainly get Bird and Dino Fossils. They'll be more common within your game. Find them easier in the wild area and with the Digging Duo. And in Shield, you're going to get more Drake and Fish Fossils in the wild area and with the Digging Duo. You can get all the fossils within one game with the digging duo. Now, if you come across the digging duo to find your fossils, they'll be the best way to do it. You'll be able to get the other versions fossils, but they are going to be a little bit more difficult. So you are going to have to be spending your watts. So if you go to the one on the right, you'll dig more items and they will be less valuable, but you'll still be able to get those fossils. And the one on the left will be fewer items but with more value you'll be able to get like bottle caps and the fossils as well and they will cost the same amount i found that if you use the left one he kind of has a better chance of getting you the fossils he's the one that i used i do this for about 20 minutes and well i ended up with all the fossils from the left and the right so they seem to be relatively the same but I would, if I was going to do this again, I'd be going with the left just the whole time. Because he seemed to have a better chance at getting it. But once you have your fossils, you're going to want to fly to Route 6. Or go to Route 6. There'll be a camper. If you go to the tent, it'll act as a fast travel. Which, they're sitting right next to the professor. That'll restore the fossils. You can't get one hole... So you'll end up putting uh, one of the heads on one of the bodies. Or, you know, there'll never be one normal looking fossil. They're all a mixed match. Kind of look a little goofy. But you'll end up coming talking to her. Again, if you're playing sword, you'll end up getting the bird. So we'll click the head for the bird. And the dino for the body. And that'll be one. That'll be the one that you normally get within Pokemon Sword. So we stick them together. So this is from Ancient Times is Arctazolt. Now, now we have Arctazolt. His body doesn't really match his head. But now we have Arctozolt. Arctozolt's electric ice, and he'll be mainly your number one in sword. The easiest to get. So we go to make another one. And for this, you're going to be Fish and Drake, which will be your most common within Shield. You end up with Dracovish. Dracovish is water and dragon. You got this like fish head with a spirally tie-dye thing for a belly or a bottom. But that'll be your most common for shield. Now the other two are kind of a mixture. And like I said, if you go to the watt trader, it's 500 watts. You can dig for them. No problem. And it's going to be Arctovish and Dracovish. So you're going to want to go with your fish head with your dino body. Yes, they're going to put them together. And that's going to be Arctovish. So now we've obtained Arctovish. And he's like the most natural looking one. It looks like he belongs to be a fish, no matter what. And he's going to be water and ice. He's going to be like Lapras. So it's a type that we already have. But... That's what he is if you can get both of those fossils. That's how you create him. Now for the final one, it's going to be Bird and Drake. Put them together. That's how you get Draco's ult. Now Draco's ult, as you can kind of guess, it's going to be Electric and Dragon. Just like Zekrom. 
I don't think there is another one, but yeah, I don't. I think it's just Zekrom. But now you end up having all four, and they are shiny huntable. So you can do the whole get the fossil, save, reset. So you'd have auto saves off. Just go to save. So a few things to keep in mind is they are able to be shiny hunted. As you can see, I have one. Now, whenever you're shiny hunting them, you can do the just get a bunch of fossils and just mass put them together. Okay, I don't know if they're really affected by the shiny charm, but you can just mass put them together, or you should be able to get the fossils you want, say one pair, and then save in front of the professor, put them together. If it's not shiny, reset. You keep your fossil, just do it over and over again. And that's how you would shiny hunt them, essentially. Now they are they are all kind of like this gray scale, like gray and black. So they're shinies. But if you want to shiny hunt them, you can. That's just one thing to keep in mind. So that's how you get all the fossils. Then sword and shield. Pretty much just digging with the digging duo. And then putting them together at the professor. And for the alternate game, just digging a lot. So I hope this helped out. I'll catch you guys next time.